to hominid settlements. Uh, Sri Lanka has one of the oldest settlements in all of Asia, which dates back somewhere around 250,000 uh, years. The hominid species, uh, known as Homo homeopithecus singaleus, is from Sri Lanka. And even though a lot of people know the history that was uh, to, uh, the, uh, of the written record, which is the 2,500 years that a lot of people know, there is a rich history that came before that as well. For example, there is a prehistoric megalithic burial site known as Ibbankatu in Dambulla. And if you go and look at that site, you can see sarcophagi-like structures that were made by using just rock slabs. And within these rock slabs, you can see urns, Ethanvya urns uh, that had the ashes of the people who were entombed within them. No, and these urns are known as barami. And these barami were used and they were made using the pottery wheel. So it's apparent that uh, even during that time, the, the civilization was not primitive. And also when it comes to the making of these urns, they have used two types of clay, which is the red and the black clay that has been burnt in a kiln using the terracotta method. And the crown jewel of that, uh, the findings at that site would be the necklace that was found because the necklace is made out of beads that were colored and made, made using the terracotta method as well. But what is interesting about it is that this necklace consists of semi-precious stones, namely agates, onyxes, and carnelians. Right? These, what's interesting about these semi-precious stones is that they can only be found somewhere around the region in Pakistan of northwestern India. So that shows that even before the arrival of Vijay, that Sri Lankan people have had trade with other countries. So, Rather than just focusing on the written record, which is 2,500 years, I would say it would be also prudent to invest in research and excavations of the, uh, the prehistoric period and, see, uh, and fig like, uh, decipher what kind of history and culture existed at the time. And that's my thought I mean, when it comes to these megalithic structures uh, uh, that come from the same period in Tanamalvila.